Namaste, welcome to Keita's Kitchen. Another traditional home style South Indian veg meal combo. We are going to make Palak Kirai Koot and uh, Katrika Vendhya Kondo. Katrika refers to brinjals. So both greens and Venthyam that is methi are very good for you especially during these summers. Definitely try out this recipe. First as usual we will cook the rice and dal. Here I have taken 1 fourth cup of moong dal and washed and added water and 1 cup of rice. Add a pinch of haldi to the moong dal. Place these in the pressure cooker and we will cook it for 3 whistles. Next for the kirai kute, kirai means green leafy vegetables. So this today I have used palak. So I have chopped a bunch of palak, washed and chopped it well. Just add about half a cup of water, add salt and a little bit of turmeric powder and allow it to cook. For the palak kirai kute, here I have taken about one fourth cup of fresh grated coconut to this I am adding one dry red chilli and some jeera we will grind this into a paste and keep it ready see the palak kirai has cooked well lightly mash it with a wooden spoon like this our dal is also cooked and ready We will add it to the kote. Then finally add this uh, ground coconut and uh, red chilli jeera which we have blended. And mix everything. Allow it to come to a boil. A very very healthy simple home style type of kire kote. As I said you can make with any kire or any greens. Today I have used palak. There are many many varieties available in South India. You can use any variety and make this kutu. Now let's get our tempering ready for the kutu. Just take a teaspoon of oil in a third cup pan. Add some mustard seeds. Urad dal. One dry red chilli. And a little bit of hing. When the dal is well browned. Pour the tadka over the coat. Now we can switch off the coat. Palakire coat is done and ready. Now for the vendia koyambu, first we will make a fresh masala for it. Here I have 2 tablespoons of coriander seeds, 1 tablespoon of tumar dal. Vendiam refers to this methi seeds, about 3 4 tablespoons of methi seeds. Methi is very good for health and especially in summers it has a good cooling effect and take about uh, 6 dry red chillies also some crystals of hing dry roast all these ingredients and then we can make it into a fine powder dry roast it till the methi seeds get a reddish color do it over a low flame don't allow it to become black then the powder will become bitter now we will allow this to cool. When cool we will make it into a fine powder. Here I have soaked a large lemon size ball of tamarind in water. Now we can extract the juice for making the vendia koyambe. I have taken about 2 cups of water. Now again add 1 more cup and remove all the extract. Today I am using these uh, brinjals for the vendia koyambu. You can use lady's finger, yellow pumpkin, small onion, broad beans, any other vegetable which you have at home. We always make it with sesame oil that is thill oil or gingerly oil. You can take about 2 tablespoons of oil in a pan. When the oil is hot, add mustard seeds, add half a teaspoon of tuar dal, 1 dry red chilli. A little bit of hing, we have already added while grinding but this will add a good flavor to your vendia koyambu and some curry leaves.
next add in the chopped vegetables a small pinch of turmeric powder salt just stir fry the vegetables for one or two minutes in the oil next add in this tamarind extract to it allow it to boil well until the vegetables are well cooked so our fresh powder for the vendhya kolambu is ground and ready see our vendhya kolambu has been boiling well for about 10 minutes now and the vegetables are also well cooked now we can add this freshly ground masala powder which we made and let it all boil together for another 2 to 3 minutes our vendhya kolambu is perfectly done just for that special touch finally add a teaspoon of til oil on top til oil is sesame oil or ginger oil now we can switch this off so another healthy home style recipe south indian veg meal ready for you thank you for watching the video please subscribe to geeta's kitchen and we'll meet again with another interesting episode from geeta's kitchen thank you